Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. This is episode four. I believe we are going to learn more about the Vortex Club, or at least that's what the preview showed us at the end of episode three. Now, I don't want to go too much into what I thought about the ending of episode three. I was talking to Nini about it. I couldn't get it off my mind because I was shocked at what happened to Chloe, but I was confused. And I know what the butterfly effect is. I know that if you change something in the past, it'll affect the future but I don't get how it affected Max that much. Hopefully, they explain it in this episode, but I don't get how it turned Max into such a different person because in both timelines, she hasn't seen Chloe in a long time. So how does it affect Max in such a way as to one, she's in like the clique with Victoria and then Warren's going for another girl. And then in the other timeline, Max is more of like the loner type, Warren likes her and you know, I just don't get how that all ties into Max being affected like that because it mostly, it directly affects Chloe. I get that it affects Chloe's timeline directly. I don't get how it affects Max like that. Was Chloe such a big influence on Max? Am I basically answering my own question? I don't know, but I couldn't get it off my mind and I just wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts on that. Hopefully they do explain it in this episode though. And we are going to figure out just how Chloe's dad being alive affects Max in that way. That's what I'm trying to get out here. That's what I'm trying to understand right now. Because when I play games, I'm a big story guy. Like, I try to, to analyze everything that just happened. And if I see a plot hole, then I'll be like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. But hopefully this makes sense, you know, to me soon. I'm still trying to process this. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got Chloe in her wheelchair, looking like the female Professor X. Max, doing her thing, you know, being a good friend, conversing. Hopefully they're talking about what the fuck is it's going on here. weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. <laughs> I don't like stop? this timeline. I want to go back. This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. How can you enjoy the sunset These with all these whales dead whales? So I kind of know how they feel. At least... I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Okay, so... In William's timeline, he gets into a car accident and dies. So, you save William, and now Chloe gets into an accident and becomes paralyzed? What are the chances of that happening? That's crazy. Alright, let's, uh, talk about the accident first. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap, and, oh. and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. That is horrible. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, she doesn't know who Rachel is either, huh? 
You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Okay, okay. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. You think? Don't say that. It might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. What? Chloe hates the word hella? None taken. Get the hella out of here. And yes, I said get the hella out of here. But I just made it sound smooth. Get the hella out of here. I'll stop with the corny ass jokes. If we can get out of this damn timeline. I do not like this timeline. I do not like it. I like it when Victoria didn't like us. I like it when Chloe was a rebel badass that said hella. I like it when Warren was all over these nuts. I do not like this timeline. I hope that we can go back. There's got to be a way. I'm pretty sure there's a way we can go back. But, man, this is just weird. Like, knowing this Life is Strange universe, like the people in this world, I, I prefer the old world better. Oh, man, hopefully we can make things right again. But then, I feel like her power, it's, uh, like, she uses it to go back so much that it's, like, making a lot it's of the world negative. Layer. But I need to sh it feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me. I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh. Here we go. And what I was talking about before the cutscene happened, um, I'm talking about she uses her power so much that I feel like it's having a negative impact on the world around her. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Like, the more she's altering the past, the more it's negatively impacting the future. That's how I'm seeing it right now. Chloe is still a punk at heart. She can't stage dive anymore. Okay, Max. That's too soon, all right? That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Let's see. Hot Wheels chat room. Hot Wheels chat room, really? For your safety, do not give any personal info to any person in this chat room. That goes for you guys, too. Do not give personal info. You don't want some weirdos coming over and saying, Hey, baby. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Ignatius, talking with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my gosh, love Scott Bacala Rawls. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. You better. Hello? Alright. Let's get some of that water. What is this? Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> Please, old Chloe, I need you back. I need you to come back, baby. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've 
talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? You're right. Seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? Are they okay? They love you. Yeah, let's just keep giving her positive reinforcement. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? No way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Whoa, Holy. dang. You're priceless. That's a lot of money. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and... Watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Aww. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. She wanted not the blue hair. hair. Not yet. Well, we're gonna get the blue hair back. Just let me figure out how the hell we're gonna do this. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Mighty morphine power. No more bongs for her. DVD player, what the hell year is this, 1980? Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. And I know DVD players weren't around in 1980. Don't give me shit in the comments. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power! Ah, here's the DVD. Sweet! Here we go, you ready for some Blade Runner, girl? I've personally never seen Blade Runner, but I heard it was really, it's like a hipster movie. <laughs> it's like a cult classic. Like, oh, you haven't seen Blade Runner? You're totally not cool. This is fun. I wish DVDs would go straight into the movie. I bet they're watching like a fuckload of previews. But it seems like they're watching the movie now. It went straight into the action. What in the world? That's pretty cool though. Max giving Chloe some company. But I still don't like this. I do not like this timeline. I'm gonna keep repeating that until we go back to the normal one. And I gotta say, Max is a great friend. Great friend. Oh, Chloe's awake though. Wake your ass up, Max. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? 
Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Did she just say that they keep the swag upstairs? I wish I had swag upstairs. Alright, let's talk to Willie because he's the reason this happened. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Care room, Chloe, Joyce, leave. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Can't Max go and save William like we were when we were kids, then go to the point in time where Chloe got into that accident and then save her too? Can't we do that? Why can't we do that? Why Chloe is that not a thing? Anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Hmm. It's probably because she jumped into a picture. I'm thinking about it now. And these we don't have a picture of around the time where that accident happened. Okay. Screwed. I get it now. But Victoria is texting us, which is crazy as hell. So let's see what she said. Victoria is... There you are. Let's see what she said. Hold on. There's a bunch of texts here. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who for your information. Save me a bowl. Gotta bounce. Okay, Max is a total stoner. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, K. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, K. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. This is weird. This is so weird. Okay, Chloe, what'd you say? Damn, there's a bunch of texts here. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. All right. And we are good. What did Nathan say? Oh, my God. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet! So no two whales for you? Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out! And Taylor. She said, Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass, like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You did it. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so... Call me back. What? What did the mom say? Happy birthday, Max. Max, this is your mom. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't text in every class. And yeah, basically, the mom is all over Max. All right. Cool.
So now we are going to go do our thing. Let's see what the paper says. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Yeah, damn, man. Medical bills are crazy. Like, you want to save the people that you love, but damn. Medical bills. No it's like quicksand. You just can't get out of it. Now it's back to cookies. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta go get the swag from upstairs. Coming for that swag, baby. Was saving William even worth it? I mean, I know that's fucked up, but damn. If that's the case, I should have left you dead, baby. Where's the swag at? Hey, there's the swag. What's up, girl? Swag all day. Swag on one, huh? Here we go. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. I think I look older. No time to talk to yourself. Gotta get the swag. Bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. It's not in here? Nothing here. Right here. Here we go. Here we go. This is the jackpot. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Oh. All right. Seems like Max has been using natural medicine, too. Save me a bowl, Victoria. I'm totally gonna smoke one out. Wow. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Well, fuck you, Aunt Dorothy. God, what kind of name is Dorothy anyway, huh? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah, let's go back, please. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But you gotta go I back. But they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, but the burden of the medical bills, Chloe is paralyzed. Come on, man. It seems like a much worse situation, to be honest. I mean, I know it sounds fucked up because then that means the dad has to die, but now they're drowning in debt, drowning in medical bills. Chloe is paralyzed. What good is that? Everybody's alive, but they're struggling to keep another person alive that's probably dying inside in Chloe. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, you saved the life, but I think that it turned out for the worst. What do you guys think? At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. Step Douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. It was funny when Step Douche was a bus driver. I was like, ha! Step Douche! Oh man, freaking bus driver. He looks so sad driving that bus too. Not that there's anything wrong with being a bus driver, but fuck, he looks so sad while he was doing it. Oh, oh, what's Max, up, Joyce? It's so nice to have you around. What are you reading, baby girl? Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Joyce, William, Chloe. What does she think about William now that he's alive? I mean... She never knew that he was dead, but what does she think about the ongoing marriage since, you know, they get to spend more time together? I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. William still the same? Is William still the same? After 
Everything that's happened. For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Now Shit. you're giving me second Things thoughts. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Hmm. Well, I mean, if William dies, she's going to end up with step douche. But she says she can't imagine her life without William, and that makes me feel really bad. Let's talk about Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Oh, man. Okay, let's see how she's doing. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. David Madsen? Really? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. <laughs> he comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious plus you banged you him in an were. alternate timeline nice to see that everything doesn't change all right i am going to leave now joyce i better get back to chloe now it's good talking with you joyce you too honey actually do you happen to know where the swag is is it in here i'm just gonna look joyce Please don't be a dildo a okay super good mom. super mom lead the family dr bill Glad we didn't find any toys in there. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Let's check this out. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact info, Dr. Anton Fibes. Ooh. This is not good. This is not good, Max. We need to hustle. And who knew that taking this short trip, potentially, is actually taking very long. And I can't find the swag. Where the fuck is the swag at? Here it is. Oh my god, there was the swag all along. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Why did I check this one randomly? I just walked in here and I was like, I'm going to check the left side this time. Because I could have sworn she didn't open both sides. That was random as fuck. Okay. Oh, man. I can already tell some shit is about to go down. Like, some shit I don't even understand. And I'm gonna, I was going to call out what I think right now. But I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. And I'm just going to see if I was right. And if I'm right, I'm just going to go, Ha! I was right! Hey, Chloe. I'm back. With the Swagmaster 9000. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Kid. <laughs> Please don't scream. Did of I course, do good? my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But 
Can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Yes. Please. Yes. My diary is like emo ground zero. Let's do this. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh, yeah. I have a good feeling about this. Let us check the photos, and we are about to jump back in time. Let me check this drawer, though, because I'm nosy. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's another drawer. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. Damn, straight A's for days. Respect. All right, let's give her the photo album. Hopefully we can jump back in time. Just one of these pictures. Just give me something good. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so bad us in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. This is awkward. Because... Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Yes, do it. Do it. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. What? What are you, you talking about? No. No. Yes. Uh, I do. No, you and you are okay, All you understand, you but you don't let it happen. Crank up the IV to 11. What? No! No! I'm not doing that. That's murder, Max. That's straight up murder. Capital M murder. Accept, refuse, I don't know. I'm going to Okay, we got to think. We got to think. We got to think. This is very crucial. If I refuse and I can't go back in time, then I am screwed. But if I accept, then I'm screwed again. I'm a murderer. I'm going to go to jail. The police is going to be like, hey, who cranked this up to 11? Somebody's getting arrested here, and it's not Chloe. It's you, Max. You're getting arrested. See? So, uh, <sighs> let's refuse. Hopefully, we can go back in time and see Chloe. if we made the right decision. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I no! can't no! kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. 
Hey. Why don't you go now? Don't do that. You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Don't put that on Max, man. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Wow. Can't believe she hit us with the kill me. Can't believe she hit us with the crank that dial up to 11. Let me go out on a wave than a rock. That is so fucked up. I'm We're sorry, going back Chloe. in time. We are not going to end up like this. I hate this timeline. All right. Let's focus again. Let's focus again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Jackpot. Did that shit one try. Whew. High five me if I made Someday the right decision, guys. Someday Dad will get one of them computers. You high five I me. I hope the flash didn't Good. scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. Don't burn it. Your college fund. Max? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because mm. tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. That's tough. That is so hard. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Aww. That was really sweet. A ninja almost jumped through my window and started slicing some onions, but I said, Hey, not today. The ninja, he jumped right back out with his onions. Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> this game, man, it punches you right in the feels. Right in the feels. Not to mention the music, man. It just turns it up a notch. Music is such a great way to make you feel in a certain mood. Oh, there you go. The butter knife. What you gonna do about it? Ah. I think I made the right choice. Yes, I know I made the right choice. I wonder what happened if I accepted, though, and I killed Chloe. What was that? What was that? I don't remember that one. I like this music though. I just feel like I'm riding a wave. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. There's Max. There's our star. One kiss, and now you're all over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. I am so happy, guys. Max, did you forget we've got? Yes. This? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. 
Welcome back to the real world, Max. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to end this episode of Life is Strange here. If you guys want to see the next episode ASAP, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude! <laughs>